Right. So let us see uh, two more questions based on your magnetic moment. It's the same concept. You are applying the same formula, but different types of questions. So what do they give us? The paramagnetic character in 3D transition CD elements increases up to manganese and then decreases Y. Okay, fine. So whenever we see about speak about 3D series, your 3D series starts from scandium. It starts from scandium and it ends with zinc, isn't it? Now till manganese which shows plus 7 oxidation state yes now when I speak about till manganese manganese is the cutoff point because here maximum till plus 7 you get the oxidation state. Now it's going to start from 3 plus 7 it goes to plus 7 again comes back to plus 2. Now what happens from scandium till manganese you are trying to fill one one electron every time till it reaches d5 configuration. Correct. So there from scandium, everyone every, every time scandium to manganese. You are filling one electron to this. Again, one more, one more, one more, one more, till it reaches your D5 configuration. Now, once this D5 is reached from manganese to zinc, you start filling or you start pairing the electrons. So till D5, what happens? They are paramagnetic. Why are they paramagnetic? Because it is half filled. After D5, once D5 all is filled, now you start ele adding electron. But which rule do you add? You are going to add electron here by Hunt's rule of maximum mul multiplicity. You are going to apply Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity and start pairing up this electron. Now D5 then becomes D6, D7, D8, D9 and d10 so finally when it comes to zinc this attains d10 configuration when it is reaching d10 configuration what is this property it is diamagnetic in nature it's completely filled diamagnetic so what what are we trying to explain we are trying to explain that the paramagnetic character in 3d series okay this is a 3d series in this 3D series, it increases up to manganese. Okay, it increases up to manganese because <coughs> the configuration, okay, according to that uh, atomic number, I'm filling the electron. First 4 is then I'm filling 3D one after the other and I've got till Mn half filled. After that, it decreases. Why is it decreasing? Because I started pairing up the electron. After D5, I started pairing up one after the other. So, please use pairing up, pairing up, use this word please, pairing up. Uh, occurs according to Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity hence paramagnetic behavior now becomes diamagnetic behavior simple that is what you have to going to write now let's see this question use Hunt's rule to derive the electronic configuration of C cerium ion and calculate its magnetic momentum simple atomic number is given to you 58 I have to calculate the Bohr magneton or the ma sorry magnetic moment mu so write the configuration cerium Atomic number 58, so xenon, it comes under xenon, okay, xenon configuration. Mm -hmm. This comes, uh, your, your uh, 4f electron starts entering, so 4f. After 4f, then 4 comes to that 5, 5d. After 5d, 6s. Now fill the electrons configure, uh, configuration, 4f1, uh, 58 isn't it, xenon, okay, 4f1, 5d1, 6s2. Done. Now they asked me to take cerium plus 3. So when I have to make it cerium plus 3, you are going to remove 2 electrons from here. This becomes 6 as 0. 1 electron from here, 5d0. So xenon is like that and in 4f you have 1 unpaid electron. 1 unpaid. So f, how many unpaid? 7 is into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7. In F, you have only one unpaid electron. So now your N is 1. Now substitute this 1 in your spin formula because they have asked me to use spin only formula. Spin only formula is mu is equal to root of N into N plus 2. Spin only formula. So when I have to apply, I apply this, I get 1 root of 1 into 1 plus 2, which is equal to 1.73 Bohr magneton. I get an answer of 1.73. That's simple, isn't it? I've got, what did I do? They've given me cerium. I wrote, the atomic number is given to me. I wrote the configuration. I took out two, three electrons from here. From that, I got an unpaired electron. That unpaired electron, I applied in spin-only formula and calculated Bohr magneton, that is 1.73 
is the answer. So my work is done, isn't it? I've used Hunt's rule and I've derived from the configuration. 